<laughs> the Straw Hats. The true definition of opposites attract. Like, really think about it. You got a cyborg, a walking skeleton, and a samurai, and a fish man that will take a bullet for each other. Well, I can't say for Sanji and Soro, but I think one of the most anticipated things about One Piece is who's going to join the Straw Hats next. And since the inclusion of Jinbei, the question is still going to be asked, who's joining next? And that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. And let's just be real, the fact that both Yamato and Carrot not joining was some BS. I don't know about you all, but I was majorly excited to see them join. Not only the powerhouse they bring to the table, but come on, it would have been a nice balance of ratio in the crew now it's two to eight but i bet the reason why oda didn't let them join well because we'll see them later on something like how vivi and or jimbei was but as we speak we are at the final saga of one piece we are at the end game so the question still remains who's going to join and that's what i'm going to talk about some characters are going to be a shock to you also i'm talking about manga spoilers so sit back relax it's time to meet the next nakama Okay, so before the video starts, this is going to have some minor spoilers for Wano. And I know I'm in the majority that were bummed out knowing that Yamato and Carrot didn't join. Like, why, Oda? Everyone was already getting used to Carrot. And then when Yamato was accepted to the crew, the power of the strats was going to be crazy. Having the child of Kairo and a mink, that alone is some crazy power. On top of that, we got my main man, Jinbei, joining. So not only Wano would have been one of the most remembered arts in the series, it would have been the only art to have more than one character join the main Straw Hats. But I guess having Carrie go back to Zo and having Yamato stay to look over things till Momo gets strong will make sense. I will say they will be back fighting alongside Luffy and the others, probably at the end. Funny thing about that happening is that when writing for this video, I had them two under the most likely category. So there was only one character and let me introduce them. So for the category of most likely character, is going to be a whole new character and look i know it sounds like a cop-out but listen the other characters i'm talking about are in other categories that make sense for them and carrot was originally in this category but then she went back to zoe becoming the dupe but most likely the strats are going to meet with a new character that will end up joining the straw hats who can it be again i don't know since it's the final saga we can go through so many islands meet new types of people but if i would guess i would love to see the giants join because of the straw hats are going to elbath it could be a really big arc no pun intended and also having a giant and usopp being homies would fit usopp's connection to elbath maybe have him help fight against loki but if not a giant how about another lunarian that's for most likely now let's talk about characters that should have already joined so for characters that should have been in the straw hats we're going to have to go back to one of my favorite arcs and that being skypea and the person i'm talking about is wipo you see when wipo was full shown something about him gave off that he was going to join the straw hats and honestly he would have been a very memorable straw hat from his introduction he was already up there and being a descendant of kagura i I feel like him and Usa would have some type of good duel going on of being opposites. Usa wanting to be a brave warrior of the sea and then Wipo being a brave warrior himself. And imagine if Wipo and Frankie worked on dials, maybe make super dials. And I feel like Wipo's placement of power would be up there. You can't forget that Wipo easily tanked the reject dials, an attack that should kill a man after one use. But he used it three times. Also, last thing, but is it me or does Wipo kind of look like King? But that's a topic for another video. Let's move on. Now, if we're talking about characters that earn the spot of Nakama, there is no one that earned it more than Mr. Two Bon Clay, a former enemy of the Straw Hats, but quickly became the MVP in two arcs. But if it wasn't for Bon Clay, Luffy wouldn't have been able to go to Marine for Everything Bon Clay did to help Luffy during the Impel Down arc was crazy. Fighting off wolves in the frozen hell, carrying Luffy, saving Luffy, even cheering him on while he was badly hurt. Also making a big sacrifice to help Luffy and the others to escape Impel Down. Bon Clay is Nakama at this point. I don't care what anyone says. I'm hoping the day comes that Bon Clay comes back and takes his place as a straw hat. And I don't think anyone will have a problem. Well, probably Sanji, but Bon Clay was really that dude. I know he's still an input down, but right now in the manga, it seems like the strats are going to start backtracking in the world. 
So who can say that, that they can't bump back into him? And I know Luffy will offer the spot in a heartbeat. I feel like Bon Clay will fit in the comedic side of the Straw Hats, like Nami, Chopper, or Brooke. Hell, him and Frankie will have an interesting dialogue on Frankie being this super macho man and Bon Clay being the queen of the Okama. It kind of writes itself. But as fun as Wipe on Bon Clay fits in the Straw Hats, I'm going to be talking about characters that you wouldn't think that can join. I'm going to be talking about that after this. Okay, this category is characters that can join if the events of the manga change or can change. Possible spoilers, of course. So to start things off, I'm going to be talking about the Ice King himself, Aokiji. I know what a lot of you are saying right now, Aokiji can't join because he's with the Blackbeard Pirate, or he's a double agent for the government, or he's in Seoul. But hear me out, let's say Aokiji is a double agent working with Seoul and Shanks trying to take down Blackbeard from the inside, because to this day we haven't seen how and why Aokiji joined. And honestly, we could have it like during one of the first Straw Hats versus Blackbeard battles, Aokiji takes a metaphorical bullet for Blackbeard. And instead of thanking Aokiji, Blackbeard could reveal that he knew all along that he was a double agent and nearly killing him, throwing him into the ocean just to put a cherry on top. And then we could have that while the Blackbeard pirates leave Aokiji to die, that the Straw Hats, well mainly Robin, saves Aokiji, saying that she owed him one and now that they're even. With no communication with Sword, Aokiji would stay with the Shrads as an honorable member to they defeat Blackbeard. And also, after defeating Blackbeard, he could decide that he wants to be a Straw Hat, stating that the Straw Hats are his type of people, and then joins them for the rest of the saga till they find the One Piece. Honestly, with Aokiji's power and status alone, the Straw Hats name will skyrocket it even more that they already are. Like, think about it. The rookie pirates that have the Devil Child, former warlord, someone who beat a Yonko, a god, and now a former admiral, that's a stacked team already. And also you could add on top of that theory that one of Nami's oranges contains a devil fruit. Which one? The snow snow fruit. So if Nami gets that devil fruit and having Aokiji teach her how to use it because how similar the two devil fruits are, that would be a jaw dropping scene. Next up, this character might have a good chance of joining and that character is Margaret. Let me explain. Ever since the government ended the world system, a lot of questions was asked like what's gonna happen to Amazon Lily? A theory I had was that Bo was going to get kidnapped by the celestial dragon and needing help the Kuja will send margaret to go find luffy and to go save boa but oh boy i was off not really but ever since chapter 1060 kobe is the one who got kidnapped but not only that it seems that the Kuja pirates are public enemy number one not only from the government but from blackbeard himself so i think it's not too far-fetched having boa send margaret to luffy because when luffy was in amazon lily she became fast friends with him. And I kind of thought she was going to join Luffy at the beginning of Amazon Lily Art. So this can be a second chance. Like, come on, Margaret and the Straw Hats would be amazing to have. Having Nami and Robin basically showing her the ropes and being an influence for her since she doesn't know too much of the outside world. I know I wouldn't complain if she joins. She can most definitely hold her own. I could see her asking the Straw Hats for help and join the battle and then ask them to join at the end. The only person I know who would hate this is Boa. But with her kingdom under attack, I feel like she can make an exception. For the next person, it's kind of a stretch and a little too early to talk about, but because of the new chapter, I had to make changes. And the person I'm talking about is Jewelry Bonnie. So because of what happened in the last chapter, I can assume that Bonnie is going to stick around with the Straw Hats. And I personally don't know how she got sent to that water bubble prison, but when she got saved, only guess I can say is that Kuma saved her before she got captured, but whole tagging along right now can work if the setting to save Saba. But other than that, I can see her sticking around if she don't got nowhere to go. Or two, she wants revenge on Blackbeard because remember he was the reason why her crew got destroyed and her getting captured by the government. Her powers would be kind of interesting to see in the Straw Hats, especially if you have someone like Brooke asking her if he can bring her back to life again. 
yo ho ho he's a skeleton also there's a theory that she's one of big mom's kids so maybe instead of having yamato join we can still have a child of a yonko join plus with whole love with food and whole beauty sanji's going to have a big field day with this one. and if she is big mom's kid we still don't know whether she's dead or not that would be kind of interesting to see how she reacts to the news if she's dead so this category is for crews aligning themselves with the strides not really joining but would help them out if they have a big war going on for the crew to do that i'm going to have to talk about the new big mom pirates look till oda confirms that big mom is not in the picture anymore kata curry should be the leader of the big mom pirates since that he's the oldest son and i feel like one of the first things he's going to do is align himself with the straw hats since him and luffy got this mutual respect for each other and it gives a chance for pudding and sanji to reunite again even if he lost his memory but who can say that he can't remember slowly but that's my list guys what do you think do you think any of these characters can join do you guys like the characters i picked that can join let me know in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more One Piece. Until the next one, peace. Who's the baddest pirate of them all? Is it Captain Albida, Buggy the Clown, or Koro, Captain of the Black Cat Gang of Pirates?